Hey YouTube, what's up? Dr. T here, and welcome to the Altcoin Express and my hometown, St. Petersburg, Florida, where we target turning $23,000 into a cool million in five years by trading altcoins and Ethereum on the Binance Exchange. Take a moment to have a look at beautiful St. Petersburg, a little piece of paradise to live in. This post mostly goes out to my Facebook friends rather than YouTube in general. Um, I am what is known now as an altcoin trader. This website indicates the current coins, the top end of the coins, of which Bitcoin is the primary coin. Uh, some of you may have heard of that. Um, its history dates back to 2008, but to all intents and purposes, Bitcoin or altcoins, the lower versions thereof, pretty much started last year, when out of nowhere this happened big time. It sold off for a very long time and found a bottom earlier this year and since then has exploded. The second major coin, uh, let's adjust this. So this is the market cap of Ethereum and um, this is Ethereum. And its pattern of movement, similarly it has gone up um, some 50% uh, in the last few weeks. I became interested in trading altcoins uh, a few weeks ago. I don't know what the origin of that was. I basically took $3,000 off a poker website. And um, the way it works, you have to deposit your cash into an account, and that would be the top account is called Coinbase. They have a spin-off called GDAX. So this is the GDAX trading platform. Uh, you're seeing this live. This is the current value of Ethereum as um, the, the other coins called altcoins are, tr are traded on a different exchange as, uh, as combinations. That is the value of the altcoin in question is linked to the value of Ethereum in the real world, so to speak. Um, I'm not active on this because I don't use this site, but um, the others are pretty much similar. They show the prospective current buys and sells that are going on here. This is the market order area where you are trying to buy something or you're trying to sell something. And and this is uh, it's various position of what the gain or, of, or performance movement of the um, of the coin value in these candle blocks. There are two overlays here, a 12 day moving average and a 26 day moving average. Uh, one of the major exchanges is called Binance and that's what I do my trading. Whoa, that's kind of right. Let's take this back a bit. Um, So you, you just transfer your Ethereum, which is linked to the coins that I trade in, over to uh, Binance using a certain protocol. Um, and this is the similar kind of window, and this is the coin that I'm currently playing with. Um, down here you've got the cells. These are all of the altcoins that are currently held on Binance. They are minors relative to the majors. And I can get a quick check of how many are making money and not. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Well there's twenty-three there, seventeen. 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 17 out of 23 of what I call the altcoin portfolio or the altcoin coins are up on this exchange. As I said, this coin is what I'm in. You, you buy and sell in this window. You prospectively put in uh, the amount of Ethereum that you have. I'm currently uh, sold off. That's my Ethereum amount. If I wanted to buy into here, I would uh, select a price, put in the amount, and then the, 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 the number of coins I could purchase would pop up here, and that's the way that goes. I have a new YouTube website because it became need to uh, ident uh, isolate it, called the Altcoin Express, and here are the various daily ones that I put on here. Um, as a catch handle to kind of get people's uh, interest, I called it the Million Dollar Challenge. Uh, and the Million Dollar Challenge is to convert what the original deposit amount was when I started this little off off was about 24,000 and change. The challenge is to convert that to a uh, million dollars in under five years. Now you can jolly well laugh at that, but that is uh, very, very doable. And I'll explain that shortly. I report all of my financial dealings, gains and losses to the whole of the YouTube community. I'm not concerned about that. So um, this is the coin I'm in. It's just been sold out. Um, that's the value of the coin. This is the current value of Ethereum. And we get that from here because I just take the Binance value, uh, uh, the GDAX value. And so the current portfolio value out in cash is 30,900. Um, this, this lot here are the names of coins that I select worth following. They are what I call transpositional altcoins in as much that you can usefully identify those that are worth buying into when they're in a useful juxtaposition to uh, being purchased. Uh, as to the challenge, Oh, and the gain, well, the gain currently, uh, I'll get to that. The current gain is linked to the value of Ethereum. It changes with the value of Ethereum. Uh, the current gain is $5,200. That might blow your mind a bit. <laughs> so it blows mine. Um, so day one, uh, the business of gain, if you gain 0.2% of your holdings every day continuously for a year, you'll end up with a 100% gain. That's based on what this is linked at. And if you do a reversal, 1 million going backwards will be 500,000 first year, 250,000 second year, 125,000 third year, 60,000 fourth year, 30,000 fifth year. So that's the, the, the element of getting from uh, what was now is 30,000 to a million in five years. Um, this is day 13. That's what you have to have in percentage gain. I've currently got 14.9%. This average over here should be 0.2 because it's the, the cumulative gain that you gain every day that has to be that. At the end of the year, you have to have an accumulative gain of 0.2. That's currently on 0.15. So, yes, I mean, it's just the way it is. Um, believe it or not, in two weeks, I've made $5,000. I didn't mean to do that. I look at things from two different charts. This is a website called tradingview.com that has a lot of very useful software on it. Uh, it enables me to put moving averages. I've got a 365 day red line moving average and I've got a 33, 30, 30 day green line moving average. I've also got a uh, indicators, which these are indicators down here. Uh, which is the volume index, which shows you the volume of the buys versus the volume of the sells. Um, I woke up a bit bleary eyed seeing this on the upside coming down, so I just sold it off. So I'm out of money. This is the current rise from where it is of the coin I'm looking at, and uh, maybe that will come down. Uh, one is not too concerned about that at the moment. 
So back on the Binance trading window. Um, I think a lot of people lose money doing this. I don't lose money because I know what I'm doing. And um, that's the way it is. It's If you're careful and you know what you're doing, you make money. The drawback to that is you sit here 24 hours a day. If you go away, you miss it. I was asleep and I missed this upside. There was just, I don't know, it wasn't very much. It was... five or six percent but I missed the upside so when I came awake seeing it coming down and just sold it off. Um, yeah, you can move these decimals about to look at where the big blocks are so we can see that how many people are interested under here and what the resistance level is going up. Um, that's that. And let me show you some of the ridiculous things that can happen out here. So let's start with Ethereum as a perspective. Um, when I actually put the original money in, it was like 410. Well, I did stuff with it. <laughs> I don't have the value of what that is now because now it's 600. Um, and this it's a bit of mind boggling I mean, and scary for some people, but um, this trajectory is not a joke. Um, it's a 600 now. It, well, let's just angle this up a little bit. So 50% um, up from here. Uh, by the end of the month, so we're in the end of January, April, May. Yeah, by the end of the month, Ethereum could well be um, up around 900. So we're over on trading view. This is the look on the trading view of what happened. Now, as I said, Ethereum wasn't worth anything up until last year when it exploded. And there's been a very, very long period of time trying to work out where the bottom is, and there's its current bottom. Now, let's just move this out of it and see where 900 is. I've got a line here somewhere. Yeah, well, we'll just extend that up a bit. Roughly. Um, so where are we? Um, we're in April, May. That's May 15. That's not even the end of May. Let's blow this up a bit. Oh, that current trajectory, which is a little, little, little bit probably um, over aggressive, is heading towards there. We'll, we'll just back it off a little bit. Um, all right, that's that line is now set on um, at the end of May at 900. And well, it doesn't take too much imagination to realize that is going in that direction. Uh, I tend to like to view it on the hour chart because I have what I call a drop line from the beginning to see what the um, what the main overall rate is, and not the local one. Um, is that where I've put this? Oh, hang on. Yeah, that was the drop line. I just have to adjust this. Um, so. It, as ridiculous as it may sound, it's probably going to get somewhere near there by the end of the month, and that's another 50% up. So um, that's the perspective view of what Ethereum is currently doing or about to do. So out of the uh, the, the majors, um, EOS is the leading contender at the moment. Having a market cap of 11.7 billion is just gone on a little run. So let me show you how crazy that can get. When I had identified this coin as a, a real, real boom perspective coin, um, but it was going nowhere. I mean, I was in this wait, 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 wait forever. And I thought, oh, well, and it kept going down as Ethereum went down. So I just went somewhere else. And then it did this. Now, seeing is believing, as they say, it went from here 
up to here in two days that is 29 percent that is 29 percent gain that is a staggering amount of money if you've got a lot of money so i'm currently following this coin called verge that uh, where everybody else's money went up for a rocket before the end of the year it came down it had a humongous upside another and it's been then trending down and trying to find the bottom of these things is painfully difficult to say the least i mean to make 10 when these take off it's a short run they go up fairly fairly quickly for a window of about one hour and 15 minutes it's it's static it doesn't matter how much percent they go up they'll go up for about an hour 15 to an hour 30 and peak out and that's it you can sit here and watch it it doesn't matter if it goes up 10 percent or 50 percent it'll do the same in the same amount of time you just have to sit around all day until you find out it when it goes if you go away come back it's gone you missed it so you know you can make a very very big debt of money but you the downside is you got to sit here all day and look at it oops didn't mean to do that So I've been on and off this bad boy a couple of times in, in the recent time period and uh, currently it's given me $2,685. Now the kicker here is I'm just about to plump 15000 into my account and uh, it'll be a penny under 50000 when it goes up a bit. Now this hasn't taken off yet. These little things are no more than eight and nine percent this is going to do let me show you another coin that i was looking at and then i got off of so this is ontology i was in ontology i'd made some money and i was waiting for it to come down over here and i got clever i thought oh i'll go to this other coin which i'm sure is about to take off and uh <laughs> instead of staying where I, where I was, which is a learning curve, you make mistakes and you learn not to make mistakes. So shortly after that, and this was in the last 24 hours, it went from here to here, that is a 20% gain. So that's a lot of money and that took just quite a few hours. So Verge hasn't had one of those runs as of yet. It's been very kind of difficult to get it off the ground. A lot of uh, skepticism and people wanting to kind of dump out and take profit. But somewhere around here, it will do an explosion. I mean, it will do an explosion because it's got it's got a long way to go up. I mean, there's its former peak. So there's plenty of room for it to just wander up here. It's not impossible for it to go spike up 10, 20, 30 percent in, in an hour. It sounds ridiculous, but believe you me, it happens, and it will happen somewhere along the way. Well, my wire today didn't get there. I don't know why. It's done that three days in a row, so I'm a bit kind of agitated about that, but no matter, it'll get sorted out, and then they'll get put in here, and I will then focus on this and not wander off elsewhere, because the upside to this, well, this is the perspective. In the next month, Ethereum is probably going to go up on the order of anything from whatever to 50% up. And this thing is now going up as well. So the, the way this works is if you get 10% on here and Ethereum goes up 10%, then your value has gone up that proportion more. So, so that's currently where I am and... Uh, we are waiting out, oh, wrong one. We're waiting out. Let's get out of here a minute. Okay, so this is life. Um, this is my drop line of where I got out. I mean, you, you get to know what the characteristic, characteristics of these things are. Once the value of this comes below here, I can buy more because the value is less. And the upside news of that, of course, is that Ethereum is going up. So the value of what I'm holding is going up relative to this going down. So this is going to go down. I mean, 
it wasn't a silly decision to just sell off here because there's a lot of room under here for people who want to take profit and who knows you can eventually find the bottom but it's going down below here then I'll buy in and hopefully tomorrow <coughs> I'll get this wire sorted out and I'll dump 15 grand in here so I'll prospectively have at least 45,000 in here and you can work the numbers out if it goes up 10% you get four and a half grand I mean in, in an hour that's it so the, there's going to be a new challenge which is going to be going from um, I coined it 50,000 up to one and a half million in five years so that's the kind of current game that's why you don't see very much of me because I'm watching this first thing in the morning and uh, I tend to kind of uh, need to watch it go out and run in the evening I will get downtown at some point so um, the coding is going on I have kind of put things on hold for the moment so we're over into my coding area now. Um, I I regrouped everything, so I I re just I I just made some modifications, take out all the mistakes, and put this current framework in. This is the current code for the grid. Code for getting movements. Code for resetting the agent. Uh, code for moving the agent. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff I've got in there. So I've got it set on a problem that I'm trying to deal with, which is getting the, um, oh, just move it. Um, getting the, the numbers in into these little boxes. There we go. It'll stop in a minute. So this is what's called reinforcement learning the agent picks up a value here when it moves back it moves into these little boxes wherever they are and that's the the aim of this and I've had this problem for a long long time trying to find out how to get this agent number in here so there's a lot more code that hasn't gone in and the, the problem well the calculation of what the reward is has been worked out so the agent here moves over here and it picks up the reward that's in this state which is uh, this little bit here uh, no that's what's current current state it has some kind of reward or nothing in there and it moves into this state here and it picks up a little bit of reward and this is called the Bellman equation um, it's very famous and then you have to work out this is the next part adding on to this what is called the discount reward uh, which it has to get from this state and this is the formula that is applied to get this reward worked out and then that reward is put back here um, so that takes a number of steps starting from who knows what so this code has not been put into the final yet because um, I use I offset my stuff into developmental files for working on them and then move them across so um, yeah it gets its current reward first of all it's going to know what its reward is to start off with it gets its current reward in the state it moves into and this um, identifies aspects of where it's going to get its discount reward and then it gets calculated here um, and that's the issue at hand finding how to get it onto the grid which I got so bogged down and tired with that I just stopped doing it um, but that's about to kind of get sorted out and then that will kind of move forward slowly but my only other news is I run in the evening and periodically I will put my body through whatever it can do over 400 meters last year I hit 12 6 6 12 in the summer coming off of a year or so ago of just a penny under six so the best for the season a few days ago show you that so this is my health spreadsheet um, every day I put my data in this goes back three years and every day I do this I put my data in I've gotten into a habit of doing it it's not particularly difficult so I know where I've been, what I've done, and um, 
when I stop biking. Yeah, right. So that's coming up to the beginning of this year. Got a few four mile runs in, but the, the weather kind of precluded them getting anywhere. So that kind of petered out a bit. So basically in the summer I tend to run occasional 400 meter runs and then see where I've done. I'd hit, hit, and a few days ago I gave it a good push and hit 626. So that's what I kind of do after I after I've gone out and run in the evening, I come down and put my data on in here. And, uh, and the purpose of that is to see how well I'm declining <laughs> over the course of years. Hopefully not. And um, that is that. So closing comments. I'm currently waiting for this coin to come down below when I sold off. And when it does, and I decide appropriately I'll just buy into it and we can go on a merry way to look to make some more money not that I'm not particularly interested in money it's just the challenge of uh, achieving something which is quite outlandish I mean nobody on this planet makes a hundred percent gain in a year and it's very very doable I've given you a number of examples where you can make 10 20 percent in an hour and you just find these are the coins that are doing similar things and if you are smart enough to do what you need to do you can make a lot of money undoubtedly but as I said the drawback to that is that you know you get up at six o'clock in the morning to have your coffee and you sit here sort of all day <laughs> and watch what it's doing because there's only a narrow window for it to take off you know that window is there and if you're not here when that window takes off you've missed it and um, so that's my current update. I hope to get to see you all sometime. I will make an effort as soon as I can get it together. I miss being around people. So I miss biking and then I sort of don't, but then it's the way it is as far as things go. So I will keep in touch. That's a, a good summary of where I'm going, what I'm doing. And I hope you enjoy, watch all this and enjoy it.